Greetings, everyone. Welcome to ANE Learning Hub. I'm going to go through the solutions for question two from the 2017 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Pass paper. So let's begin. Part A it says draw the electrical slash electronic symbols for each of the following components. Part one we have the symbol for the fuse or I should say one of the symbols for a fuse. So there are actually three symbols that you could use here. Part two, we have the symbol for a diode. Part three, we have one of the symbols for a fluorescent lamp. So I think there are two to three symbols that you could use to represent the fluorescent lamp. Part four, we have the inverter symbol, or in other words, what we'll call the not gate. Part five, we have the symbol for RS flip-flop. And part six, we have the earth symbol. So that's it for part A. Let's move on to part B. It says figure two shows a schematic diagram of a filament lamp controlled by a single pole switch connected to an alternating current source. So here is figure two. We have the light bulb here, which is being controlled by a one-way switch or a single pole switch. And it is connected to a alternating current source. And here's a symbol for the source. So that's it for figure two. So let's continue with part B. It says draw a wiring diagram for the schematic diagram in figure two to construct the filament lamp circuit using twin core flat PVC cable with earth conductor and a four terminal all insulated joint box. All right, so here I have the wiring diagram for the schematic diagram uh, from figure two. So as you can see here, I have the flat PVC sheeted cable to an earth and we have the four terminal joint box. We have the and box and the switch, also the octagonal box and the Broad base receptacle and the lamp that is connected to it. So this is the wiring diagram for the schematic diagram from figure two. All right, so that's it for part B. So let's move on to part C now. So it says figure three shows a block diagram of a personal computer. So here's figure three. And it shows the block diagram of a personal computer as the information said before. So it says briefly outline the function of any two of the blocks in the block diagram. All right, so what I did here was to outline the function of all the blocks in the block diagram. All right, so for the control unit, it is a circuit that directs the operations in the computer pro processor. So basically in a nutshell, it lets the computer logic unit, the memory input and output devices know how to respond to instructions. So that's what the control unit is used for. Next up, we have the ALU, Arithmetic Logic Control. So it allows the computer to perform mathematical operations. Next up, we have the storage. So the storage is a process through which data is saved within a data storage device by means of computing technology. All right, so that's it for storage. Next up, we have input devices. 
our input unit, I should say. So the input unit is used to provide data and control signals to an information processing system. The output unit now is used to convert information or data into human readable form. All right, so those are the, the function for each block in the block diagram. And that's it for this question.